There's not much to distinguish the exterior of Mortlock Distillery from any of the other ones dotted around Speyside. Step inside though and you'll find a distillation process which is unlike anywhere else in Scotland. Unfiltered's guide for the day is senior site manager Runa Molvik, who explains what makes Mortlach so distinctive. That starts with a tour of the still room, home to an eccentric collection of six entirely different stills and a mysterious distillation process that runs into the decimal points somewhere between two and three times. Well, if you go to a, a kind of a traditional malt distiller, you've got the double distillation come to Mortlach and it's, it's a bit different, absolutely. So you have um, a unique setup of stills um, in terms of none of them are the same. So we do about 2.81 distilled, but really what we focus on is the flavors, you know, the flavor of the whiskey. So we're talking about Mortlach being the beast of Dufftown and the flavors you get is probably the closest you can get to an Isla whiskey, but still on the space side. So you've got the bold, rich, kind of meaty flavor from the sulfury uh, new make but also you've got the fruity and also you've got kind of a malty flavour as well. So if you look at it, actually how the stills are set up, you almost got three distilleries in one. And that's kind of what makes um, Morta that kind of beautifully rich uh, liquid. Another curious feature of Mortlich is in its continuing use of worm tub condensers. They may not be as efficient as more modern shell and tube condensers, but they're critical in defining the whiskey's robust character. It's another example of a curious distillery, more or less unchanged in more than a hundred years of operations. If you think about the, the George Cow, he was an engineer, so he, he built the kind of hardware and set up the stills. Then he has his son Alexander, who'd been out in, the, in kind of in the Far East there and, and coming back as a, as a doctor, more kind of a medical profession, and really trying to experiment with flavors and trying to get use what his dad, uh, George, had kind of built up here. And, and experiment to get those really um, strong, um, heavy um, kind of characteristics that more like this. And that's been pretty much the same since um, 1896. And uh, it's the way we distill it now. It's the way Alexander um, set up in 1896. And we call it Alexander's way. Um, and it's, all of we are more modern at the moment, uh, we're still doing it the same way. So yeah, it's pretty unique and pretty special. Mm -hmm.